Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. Uh, see, I uh, had my July 4th ritual. Sorry I wasn't able to film it for you. I tried to, but the uh, power went out while I was editing and I lost it all. So, um, But you can see my mug. Uh, those of you that like the beard long, don't worry, it always comes back. Don't take it long. I won't shave it completely off. I don't like showing off my scars. But that's not what I'm making this video for. I'm making this video for you all to uh, help those who have trouble making videos. Now if you don't have a camera to record videos, uh, you can still make a video without a camera. And I'm going to show you how in this, uh, this little tutorial here. I hope you can learn something from it, and I hope to see videos from some of you in the future. Okay, we got into the movie maker here, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, See, I got a lot of pictures and stuff in here. A little video what I started with uh, to tell you about what's going on. I've already put some of this in here. So, but I'm going to get on in here and show you some of this, what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop a picture in. Just drop a picture in there. You see my little doggy. That's Abby. You know. I like Abby, she's so picturesque sometimes. Make the area last longer if you want, however many seconds you want to put something in there. Now this is, if you got a photograph, this works pretty easy. Just drop your picture in. Make sure you click on it while it's in, down here in your story board here. You just go up here and say titles and credits. And say title on select clip and right here it gives you these options you can change the kind of font you want I prefer Georgia and you can make it bigger and smaller you put it right to the left uh, kind of animation you want you want to spin in zoom out whatever stretch subtitles usually work good for that, if I was going on a just a blank picture, it'd probably just be a, it'd probably be basic title, so to cover the whole page. But since I got a picture here, I'm going to use a subtitle, and we edit, and we just put what we want to put in here. You no. Know. See add the title and it goes right down here automatically onto that I'm going to kind of adjust where I want to put that how long I want it to run and now I can test it see we can go back here where I ended the talk we had just a minute ago say say hi to Abby alright well, there's plenty of time for Abby's picture there. Now, how to put something on here now without pictures. Let's go up here to title credits again. Put it credit at the end. But then change your animation. Change it to the basic title. Now you can change the, the color of the background here too. You can make it any color you want. A custom collar or anything. Okay. I got the title text. I'm change the color of the text so it'll show up. Okay. Well, let's change the background so it'll show up. Okay. Uh, let's see. What we're gonna put in here. No, add the 
the title. Okay. Okay, title. And just keep going like that. Oops, change the title animation, make a basic title unless you want it to scroll up like that. You could do that, scroll scrolling banner. Or you could have a mirror, or you could have a paint drop where it comes in. All sorts of different effects you can have in here. You know. Some different ways you can do the credits and stuff. with the basic title and we can change the color, color for a different page and just simply uh, keep going one page at a time okay and that title will always be on there and you can review your message and keep going it's that simple people it really is that simple and if you want it to scroll up like that you can do that and simply add it to right here slow that down all I have to do is increase its size. It really is that simple. Now, to put a sound in it, all you have to do is go up here to your tools. And if you have a microphone, just narrate the timeline. It's simple. Or, if you have sounds, all you have to do is go up here to audio or music and find a, an audio file that you like. And make sure it's one that you can use that you won't get in trouble for using. Uh, I sometimes grab sample music out of your computer. It already comes with your computer. They can't very well say you can't use it. They've already given it away to everybody. But uh, I won't do that here. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video and you'll get to see the end product hopefully y'all have a good day